A trial starts today for Sweden's former ambassador to China. Authorities say she overstepped her mandate when she arranged meetings about the fate of a dissident bookseller. NTD's Juliet Song has more. Sweden's former ambassador to China starts her weeks-long trial on Friday. Swedish prosecutors charge her with arranging unauthorized meetings about dissident bookseller Gui Minhai. His abduction sent the relationship between China and Sweden on a downward spiral. Gui is a Chinese-born Swedish national known for publishing books critical of Chinese Communist Party leaders. In 2015, he disappeared from his home in Thailand and reappeared months later in Chinese custody. Sweden pushed for his release, but in vain. A Chinese court sentenced him to 10 years in jail in February. In 2019, Gui's daughter wrote in a blog that then-ambassador Anna Lindstedt had arranged for her to meet with two Chinese businessmen in Stockholm who said they could help her with her father's case. Angela Gui said Lindstedt reassured her these are people she trusts and that she'd join the meeting as well. In the meeting, the businessmen said they have connections with the Chinese Communist Party and offered to help secure Gui's release. In exchange, Ms. Gui would have to keep quiet and stop engaging with the media. She had been actively campaigning for her father's release. Ms. Gui said Lindstedt added if the activism and media coverage continues, China might punish Sweden. Ms. Gui later contacted Sweden's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, who said they had no knowledge of the meeting. After she published her blog post about the incident, Swedish authorities recalled Lindstedt from Beijing and started an investigation. Lindstedt is charged with arbitrariness during negotiations with a foreign power. A Swedish prosecutor said it's unprecedented in modern times. Lindstedt denies the allegations. If convicted, she faces up to two years in prison. Parts of her trial will be held behind closed doors for national security reasons. Reporting by Juliet Song, NTD News, New York.